Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury. Father.time.luxury.watches. Father.time.luxury.watches. This guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches. Have a look here. Look at this. Very, very nice display of watches and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle look at this beautiful cigar and you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle look at this ah what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar so there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel. Today, guys, I am doing a paid review. A paid review for my good friend Greg. This is paid review 22QC2. Quick Whist, whist, whist watch check. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a Rolex Submariner. That's right, guys. This is the 41 mil Submariner date. The Subby. This is, thank you, MJT. He's the guy who got that for me. And I got to tell you, I do love my Sub date. Okay, let's jump straight in. In here, here we go. This is a review. This is a review of a Carl F. Berchera Heritage by Compact's annual calendar. So uh, Greg says to me, he says, uh, please review this watch and brand. I bought the watch from Joma Shop for 6,500 US dollars. It listed for ten thousand five hundred dollars. Thanks, Greg. So, so let's have a bit of a, a talk about this piece. What do I think of it, and what's the go? So, firstly, the Carl Berchera brand. What do I think of this brand? And I got to be totally honest with you. It's never really been a brand I've really wanted. It's kind of one of these pseudo mid-tier sort of brands, which, how do I put this tastefully? It's kind of, it's very mid-tier. And when I think of Carl Berchera, I think of um, Gerard Perrigay. I think of Mido. Minerva before Mont Blanc bought them out. You know, very mid-tier Swiss sort of watches. Um, I suppose you could say Ebel, Borman Mercia, that kind of tier. And, you know, they, they kind of try and plug themselves as being more prestigious than that. And in, in many ways... Um, they could be, but look, the big problem I had with, with I have with them is that they are they're too affordable. They're too cheap to be real luxury watches. And you look at a brand like Corum. Corum sort of, at least they had the glorious 70s when they were making those gold things. You look at a brand like Piaget and, you know, they, they sold gold things as well. But this sort of brand here, yeah, it just, it just doesn't really... It's not a brand I really want or aspire to own. It's kind of the Chrono Swiss of vintage watches. Does that make sense? But let's have a talk about it. So this watch in particular here. So this is the uh, Carl Bashir Heritage by Compact's annual 
calendar. So it, it's an interesting watch in the sense that you've got two functions there. You've got an, a chronograph and you've also got an annual calendar. Now the annual calendar thing, of course, that first, that was the annual calendar uh, was an invention made by Patek Philippe, the 5035. I've got that watch myself. Before there was such a thing as an annual calendar, the closest you really got was you had a perpetual calendar, which it told you day, month, day, date, month. Um, it also, they often threw in moon phase, but moon phase, who needs that sort of thing? Uh, but they also did leap years, perpetual calendar. Uh, Below that, you used to have a triple date. Triple dates being, they would display that information, but you'd have to manually adjust at every end of every month. That wasn't 31 days. You'd have to wind it forward, <clears throat> adjust it forward. So that's, there was a triple date. Now, the annual calendar itself, it knows it's called an annual calendar because it needs adjusting in um, in February because 28 days and then you've got leap years and etc etc but now the interesting thing is with this particular interpretation of the annual calendar what they've done is listen to this um, it's a fairly complex watch that that combines a two register by compacts chronograph two register means two eyes uh with an annual calendar in its present case it'll only need need one correction every four years during leap years as it takes into account the months with 28 30 and 31 days automatically so it's 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 not re i mean they call it an an annual but it's it's more like a um, quad annual, really, because it it knows February. So that's that's quite an interesting thing. Um, it's it's seen as the best compromise between a simple date and a complex calendar. Yeah, well, that's well, I mean, annual calendar. Uh, well, uh, on the heritage by complex annual, the calendar indicates by a large date with two discs, twelve and the month at 4.30. Okie dokie. Um, I'm not really sure I like the placement of the month at 4.30. Uh, not really my cup of tea. So you've got a big date. Well, you know, it looks it's very reminiscent of the Lange data graphs, you know, because the big date um yeah it's it's interesting now the funny thing is so it tells you it doesn't tell you doesn't tell you the day so it's kind of like the the uh rolex sky dweller because it doesn't tell you the day it tells you the date and the month it doesn't tell you the day so Ah, they've they they've 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 clipped that off there. Um so what a way I think of it. Well in in all honesty, in all honesty, I think in all honesty six and a half thousand um Six and a half thousand, what do I think? Six and a half thousand. Um, yeah, yeah, six and a half thousand US dollars. I probably wouldn't have bought it, okay? I think there's much better value, a lot better value. Um, I was just talking to a friend today, and he's just bought... A pre-owned, so okay, I admit, this you bought this from Joma's shop, so it's kind of a new, new, you'd be new, a uh, grey market sort of new. Um, 
I got to be honest with you. In all honesty, I would have bought a second hand. My friend got a master control Jager Lacoutre on a bracelet, steel on a bracelet at Moon Phase. Um, that's what I'd prefer to buy. You, you know what I mean? I, I don't... I, I personally wouldn't have bought it. I'm sorry, Greg. I mean, you have bought... Greg always likes good bang per buck. He likes good bang per buck. And I don't think this is really... How do I say that? I think this is a bit of a dud of a watch. Yeah, it's, it's a dud of a brand. Uh, it's interesting interpretation. I really question, is it a true luxury watch? It's kind of that mid-tier. And, you know, I kind of, I hate mid-tier. I really do. I really do, Greg. So I've got to tell you, in all honesty, is it worth six? I, I wouldn't have bought it, man. I wouldn't have bought it. I, I wouldn't have bought it. No, no, I don't like it. I wouldn't have bought it. I hate it. Okay, to be completely frank and honest with you, there, I absolutely, I absolutely dislike it. Okay, really dislike it. I hate the brand. I hate the watch. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Sorry, I I I'm sorry here. Um. Yeah, I I, I hate it. I hate it. I'm sorry. I, what do I think of it? I hate it. I absolutely hate I hate the brand. I hate the watch. I hate the hell they've done their annual calendar. I can yeah, I, I just just can't stand it, Greg. I, I'm 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 really sorry. I'm sorry. I've really tried to And the thing is too, the movement they use in this thing, what what do they use in this thing here? Well, of course what do they use? It's ETA based. It's based on a under the Sapphire Crystals Automatic ETA 2894 chronograph base movement with an extra annual calendar module. Power reserve of 42 hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, an ETA 2894, which, 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 yeah, it's a, it's a reasonable movement, but how can you get credibility when you're using an ETA movement. How can you get serious cred when you do that? I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Greg. I mean, I, 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 I desperately wanted to say this is a bargain, it's fantastic. I hate it, I really hate it. I really, really do hate this piece. I hate it, okay? I'm just being honest with you. I really dislike this piece. I dislike it. I dislike it. I don't think it's a luxury brand. It's not a luxury nothing. I really, really don't like it. Okay. I, I don't like it in the least. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, I'm sorry, it's just ETA based, the brand, that just sums up the brand, it's just, it's pseudo, pseudo luxury, Ugh. It's, 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 that's a painful pill to swallow, Greg, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it, I, I'm sorry, man, it's just not, I don't think it's a luxury watch. I don't think it's worthy of collecting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I dislike it strongly. I really dislike it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, it's not... It's not... You know, Greg got a bargain AP chronograph, I think it was. It was... Okay, it wasn't, wasn't a Royal Oak. It was an AP... Um, Jules Audemars, you know, bargain, bargain. But this ain't no Jules, this ain't no Audemars Piguet, okay? It ain't no, it's not in that league, okay? 
this is out of this. If this was European cars, this would be a Skoda. Why would you buy one? You know what I mean? You're better off buying a Japanese car than buying this Euro trash. So I'm sorry. I hope I haven't upset you, but it's a dud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Greg. Just can't do it, mate. Just can't do it. Guys, that's my paid review today. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Guys, remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I desperately need more paid reviews. Paid reviews help me stay full-time on YouTube. 50 US dollars for a paid review. Look down below on how to organize one, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry about, sorry about that, guys. ETA movement. Shitty poor brand. Shitty poor how they've done it. It's just not my it's just not my style, I'm afraid. I don't it's just not just doesn't cut the mustard. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or Krispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands, new and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it, and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want, and it keeps me going on YouTube. Because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area, and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views guys sponsor me on patreon look down below and i will see you in the next one